Hi guys, so today I have a video for you sponsored by Tonic Studios for their new showcase called Garden Greetings. And um, they did send this item free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchased items to those links. I literally just took this out of package and I just saw this cute little wheelbarrow. That's why I kind of had a little giggle in my uh, voice. And look how cute! Little watering can. So again, Garden Greetings. So you have this larger die here. It looks like it has a nice little doily edge. What an amazing die just to have, right? With that doily edge. Really pretty. Let me measure that for you guys. And, um... So Tonic does different things with their showcases. Sometimes it's a stamp set uh, with a die set, or sometimes it's like a larger die set, sometimes it's a smaller die set. You know, they have all these different things that they play with that. Really fun. Uh, four and five eighths, I would say, inch diameter, and then of course smaller from there. And then we have this other die that you can cut or you can put together to make a frame. So you have the outer edge and then this inner portion. Or again, just this guy by itself. Look at this little garden. Oh, I love that. So it's, this is all one piece. Maybe I should hold it like this so you can see the picket fence here and then it goes up into like the little trees. There's like little sprigs in here. Um, from my garden to yours and that's an inlay. Well, it cuts the letters by itself. I shouldn't say it's an inlay. So all these letters, you know, it cuts its own little sentiment. And then we have the outline for that um, little pot and then you can emboss the little hearts in there. Look at the little mushroom and then he has a little accent uh, inlay if you would like to use it that way. A little more coiled sprig here. This sweet little, this sweet um, little birdhouse here. Um, that might be an accent piece, like maybe a little stick, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe it's the base here, right? Yeah. I was say you can put it that way, but it already has its chain, so let's just do that. So that's that little base. Little flowers to decorate with. We have a butterfly that's an outline, and this is its own die. It's not just an inlay. It has an edge on it. The little house. Goodness, excuse um, me. So the little house, like a little greenhouse or like a little... I forget what they call them. We have something like this. I haven't set it up yet, but it's just like a little place that you can place things. It's a little bit smaller. Um, and then we have our little accent piece for our birdhouse over here. A little cloud, another little butterfly again with that beautiful um, butterfly. And then the outline, little sprigs. Oh, how cute are the little sprigs to like pop out of this, you know? Little flowers and things. How cute. A little watering can. Of course, that little uh, wheelbarrow there. Uh, just adorable. So what I'm going to do is grab some papers and, uh, you know, we'll just get started. Okay, so I grabbed a few things to start with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a card base, um, just from white paper. And since I'm going to make it on my own, uh, when we measure this, this was like four and five eighths or so. So I think this outer die, I'm going to make a, f a five inch square card base. And so I am going to cut this down to five by 10. And I am going to also have a matte layer on top of this, which I didn't grab paper for yet, but I'll grab some pattern paper, and that'll probably be a 4 and 7 8 inch square. But for right now, I'm just going to make a card base, so 5 by 10 inches. And then we'll score it at 5 inches, so we have a 5 inch square card base. And then um, from these other pieces, all I'm going to do is simply die cut. So we have this, let me put these to the side here. Um, from this outer one, I'm just going to cut the whole thing out of this cream colored paper uh, just to give it a little differentiation from the white paper I'm going to use next. Um, so I'm just going to run this through just the way it is, right through some of this cream colored uh, classic card. And then I was going to just go ahead and pair these up together and run them through together and just have the white on the cream, but then I thought, well, I can do a blue background that way. It has like a little blue sky kind of background. So I'm going to cut this circle just from this light blue cardstock. Again, some classic card. And on this one, I'm going to run it through. Um, oh, not on our card base. <laughs> Good thing I caught that. Um, just this extra piece of white paper I have here. So I'm just going to put those down like that, tape them down so they don't move, and run that through also. Okay, right. and I'll be right back. So I have that 4 and 7 8 inch paper cut. Something like that will put that on there. And then I have my little blue background. Oh, <laughs> then we have this guy. Look at that. <laughs> How funny. Um, so I'm going to take a moment to just loosen everything up here. And the reason I use white paper is because I wanted that white picket fence to stay white. Um, if you like to color, I just want to use it as a silhouette, but I know you can just take some markers and things and color in like this greenery or whatever it is that you want to do. But I'm going to clean this out and also this guy. 
expo so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to just take a moment to clear out all our little bits, and okay, I'll be right back. So I clean that out, and this one, and this one. And I'm trying to think if I want to glue these together now, or... I think I'm going to leave it kind of loose the way it is, the way you see there. So what I'm going to do is just glue down... All around the edge but just um, and then maybe even into here a little bit but this top edge I'm gonna leave it open in case I put the little birdhouse or whatever in there so just a little bit of glue but all around the edge for sure and then just leaving this other area just kind of free-flowing and since it's a circle it doesn't matter where we place this we're just gonna place it on here I'm gonna let that set up for a minute and in the meantime I'm gonna glue down my background okay I'll so be back. card base done there. We have this little guy. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick our doily down completely. And I usually leave the edges on a doily just alone, but if you want to glue them down, a lot of times I'll put glue on the back of my hand and just pat this into the glue to get that glue on there, just on the edges. But I kind of like it to just be free-flowing. So I'm going to place that there. And, you know, it's a doily. It's circular. I'm just looking left and right where I'm placing it and kind of just where it kind of goes from one to the next that's the motif I have kind of facing the very center but I don't know if that matters and that looks pretty good and then this guy I'll probably pop it up off the base maybe or should we pop up our sentiment either way I'm not going to stick it down quite yet what I'm going to do is cut our extra little um, embellishments here so uh, I'll grab some scraps of paper and things, but I mean, you can see, you know, you can fill this in so well with all kinds of cute little things. Uh, of course, we have our birdhouse, so we'll do that. And we'll have them hanging down in here somewhere. So we have the birdhouse that I'll cut from a scrap, of course, the little base piece. And the little accent top part there. Um, we have extra little clouds that you can pop in in the back. It's really sweet. I think what I'll do is a birdhouse and maybe a butterfly or something like that and then we'll have our sentiment in here somewhere so let me grab some scraps of paper and i'll show you what i'm going to okay, do okay guys so we have this going here what i have is here just little pieces you know of um scrap card that i thought would be really sweet and so we're a little red top we have our little guy out of brown craft card stock or it's craft card stock is brown so craft card uh, a little brown piece for a little base at the bottom just so it has a little differentiation of color uh, i'll probably take these little flowers and run them through a couple different colors but for now of course i love me some coral so i'm gonna run that through like that um, and then when i do things like this i'll just put them all on my plate and run them all through at once and basically get it all done at once so um there's that and with this guy i want to cut some of the sprigs i don't know if i'll use them all or any but um i just wanted to see how i can play with those so i have that maybe this guy maybe this guy back here and i'll just again tape them down wherever they fit on my scraps and run that through too so i'll be right back so just want to show you kind of what that looks like so everything's just run through at once and oh, a little extra tape oh it's on the back that's fine so let me get all my little guys out and then um you know so i'm yeah, just gonna going grab to some glue some. and put together a little birdhouse and just put a little glue here pop it down same thing with our little base i'll pop that so cute and with this one i'll put the glue on here And I think that's the only thing that needs assembling for now. Now that's how I'm doing it. It's really cute. I put the wood in the front. You can put it in the back. I don't know. Um, okay, let me bring everything else okay. out and I'll be right back. So I put these to the side. And I, I will go ahead and just glue this down. So let me just get some of this glue. And I really do like the way it just has that little texture, like the way this part is just up. So I'm going to get some glue on the back of this. And glue that down. Just kind of centered in there. Oh, so sweet. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to put on here is this little guy. And I'm going to tuck him kind of in here somewhere. Maybe just like there. And then over here, I'm going to put some little 
flowers like out in here and then we'll put our sentiment like over here somewhere <laughs> how cute of course we're going to run the um this bit through again and get a you know something for your heart and pop it in there you can definitely do that which i might do i might run it through and just black and just put the little so it looks like it's dark inside um however okay okay and then the next thing i want to do is just kind of put these little guys out here in this area so my sentiments over here somewhere um trying to see what that might look like I like that and okay so I'm gonna stick this guy down <laughs> and then I'm gonna put little flowers I have a little coral and kind of orange yellowish orange flowers so I'm gonna stick on the greenery and in the background here what I'm gonna do is just put some little dots of glue and stick down the little flowers here and there okay flowers we'll finish them off with a little something and then I have these for our sentiment and I'm going to do I think this in the craft card the outline and then I will top it with a gold I always have little scraps of gold paper next to me here if I have one that works um, oh yeah right there I'll run that through and I will be right back Okay, I have my little bits here, and so I'm just going to remove these carefully. It is very delicate, and I'll be right back. And all I'm going to do is just glue it down to um, its uh, outline layer. Just laying this on here. So pretty. Oh my gosh, let me show it to you. Get a little closer. That. Okay, I'm going to put some dimensional adhesive on the back of this, and we'll finish up. Okay, guys, I went ahead and had that. I put a little dimensional on that. And I'm just going to put this right here. How <laughs> sweet. I mean, it can go anywhere. Of course, I put my little flowers there. But I'm going to put it right here. Really sweet. So, uh, thank you so much, Tonic, for sp uh, sponsoring this video. For sending these items for review. Guys, I'll have some pictures coming up here. I'll have the links in the description box. And uh, I will see you guys at the next one. <laughs> Bye now.